Welcome to the homework for lesson 21. This is module 4 of grade 2. Write your name down first. <clears throat> Get that one down before you forget to do it later because you won't remember it if you don't do it now. And we're just solving vertically. And please for this uh, again, solve using the vertical method first. We want you to practice using the vertical method. If you don't remember how to do it or you get stuck when you're trying to do it on your own, watch a couple of these videos and then try it yourself. Pause the video and then go back and try it yourself uh, to make sure that uh, you, and that'll help you remember what you're supposed to do and that, that will help you learn it. This is really not about figuring out how to add or finding the answers. It's about practicing the vertical addition method because really it's something you have to get better at. Now, the last lesson, uh, if you watch the lesson 20 homework video, you'll see, like I went over in that one in detail, a lot of the mistakes that people tend to make in vertical addition. So if you're having some problems and the answers aren't coming out the way they should and you can't figure out why, take a look at that video and it'll help you see maybe some of the mistakes that you tend to make. 45 plus 76. And 5 plus 6 is 11. That's a 10 and a 1. Now I'm going to add my 10's digits. Always start with the 1's digits when you're doing vertical math. Uh, now the 10's digits. Uh, 7 and 4 is 11 and one more. 12. Don't forget to add that bundled 12 back in. That's 121. And now I'm going to draw the chips. 45. 1, 2, 3, 4 10's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1's. 76, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 6, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, if you're really weak in your single digit addition, uh, then you're going to tend to want to do the chips first because then you just count. You don't really have to add. But really, I highly recommend doing it with the numbers first, the vertical addition. Do it that way first. Count on your fingers, count up to find your you know, your sums for your for each digit, for the ones and then for the tens and hundreds if you have to. And <clears throat> make sure you do those. Practice that addition. And it's way better than just counting and then writing down the answers after you've counted. So we're going to bundle some tens here. And I got two five group rows. The benefit of drawing five group rows is that sometimes you just see a ten frame and you can circle it. And then we have another ten. And what do we have here? We have eight tens. So I need two more to make ten tens. And be careful how you loop these in, because sometimes if you write over a ten, you won't you'll forget to count it later. You won't see it. And there's a hundred and two tens and a one. Alright, can I do this vertically? Sixty-two plus eighty-nine. It's addition. 9 plus 2 is 11. That's a 10 and a 1. The 10 goes up here with the other 10s, and I'm going to add them to the other 10s. 8 and 6 is 14. 1 more is 15. 15 10s is 5 10s and a 100. And then now I add my 100s. There are no other 100s, so I just count that 100. It's 151. 62. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 2 1s. And 89, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine ones needs one more one. We're going to loop one of these guys in. Be careful how you do that so you don't want to draw over the other one that you're going to have left over. And we'll go here. There's our 10. And let's see, we got eight tens down here and with this guy that's nine and one more makes ten there's my hundred and so I have a one I have five tens and I have a hundred thirty-seven plus seventy-nine nine plus seven we're gonna have to add nine plus seven twice here so get a little practice at that. That's 16. Uh, 
a 10 and a 6. Six ones and one ten. And I'll add 16 and one more. That's 17. 17 tens is 7 tens and 100. There's 176. So let's see, 97. Now you can do this in your head really easily. 97 and 79, you take 3 from the 79, that's 176, right? Easy to do in your head, and you can just write down the 176. But if you did it that way, you didn't write those. And if you didn't, if you don't have those bundling marks, I can tell right away you didn't practice the vertical method. And this isn't about getting the right answer, it's about practicing the vertical method so that you can get the right answer when you're working with much bigger numbers that are really too many digits to keep all in your head and add them up that way. So 176, we need 97. Seven, eight, ninety, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventy nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, and nine ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These nine ones need just one more. Careful how you loop that guy in. And then I'm going to do right up here. This nine needs just a one more to be a hundred. That's a full ten tens. Now I can just make that a hundred. And now I can just count. I've got five group and one more. That's six. And here I have, I'm looking at seven tens. That's five and two more. And 100, 176. 127, now we're getting into three digits, plus 78. So here's one where you want to start being careful. Be careful about two things, because all of this work we've been doing up until now has really just been two-digit plus two-digit. So you might accidentally write your 127. You might write your 78 over here. So be careful you don't do that because now this seven is you're adding it to hundreds instead of tens. It should be it's a tens digit, so it should be adding to other tens digits, not not here with the hundreds. And this should be in the ones. It shouldn't be under the tens digits for the other number. So watch out for that. And then also the tendency to write your addition symbol here as a number. It's a bad habit. You get away with it a lot of times, but it's a, it should be the last thing you write after you write all the numbers. So this would be, we need 78 here. And then I'm going to put it over here, addition. 7 plus 8 is 15. That's a 10 and 5 ones. 15, right? 10, 10, 5. So the 5 ones go here underneath the one, other ones, the ones digits for our add-ins. And that 10 goes up here with the other 10s. Now I add the tens digits, they add up to 10, which means now I'm going to have 100. There's my 100 with zero tens left over. And now I add my hundreds digits, now I have something to add it to. So you see why I've been leaving that hundreds digits hanging in space all the time here, because now, now I have another 100 to add it to. There's two hundreds. Let's see how it looks. 100, 10, 20 and 7 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Notice I'm not drawing 205 here. I'm not drawing my answer. I'm not drawing my, I'm drawing the add ends and I'm going to actually use the chip method to solve it. I need to solve it two different ways. I'm not just running down my answer two different ways. So 78, I need 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 8. 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My eight needs two more to be a ten. There it is. And I'm going to draw that ten here. Now I have eight tens here, and these two more, all of these are going to bundle together to make ten tens, which is going to be another hundred. So now I, now I can just count. I have two hundreds, zero tens, and five ones. The blue team scored 37 fewer points than the white team. The blue team scored 69 points. How many points did the white team score? 
draw a tape diagram. Really, draw a tape diagram. Because otherwise, you're going to see 37 and 69, and you're going to add them together. Um, right away, you skip the first part of RDW, if that's what you're doing. Because you didn't read. Draw the picture first before you do any adding or subtracting. Don't try to solve the whole thing in your head and then draw a picture later because you'll end up drawing a picture of your own wrong answer. And that won't help you. Draw the picture first. So we have blue team. B. And white team. <clears throat> the blue team scored fewer points, so the white team should have a longer piece of tape. And we're going to figure out how to label them after we know that. Now the blue team scored fewer points than the white team, which means that's the difference between the two scores is 37. So that's the fewer. I'll label it the F. That's the fewer. And, but, and we do know what the blue team scored, 69. And we can see from our picture that it does work out this time that we do add the two numbers that were in the text. It doesn't always work out that way. Uh, the 69 and the 37 added together will be the same as the score of the white team. So 69. So there, I read it. I drew it. And now 69 plus 37 equals and we'll finish this when we figure out what it is you have to have this is an equation this that I'm writing now this is not an equation it's vertical math 9 plus 7 16 and 9 and 1 that's 100 106 and now we need an answer statement uh, the white team scored 106 points there now you have to have all of that you have to have a labeled picture right blue and white that's the fewer um, and I could even add this in now that I know it. Uh, and there's other ways, other methods you could use to add these together too. There really are. You could have used the tape diagram method to add these, but we've been practicing the vertical method, so I use the vertical method here to add those two numbers. So, but you got to have your answer statement. You got to have a picture, a labeled picture, uh, or some kind of math drawing. You got to have this equation, and I got to see your solution method, how how you figured out the addition. If you did it in your head, then write down the arrow way, or write it down the number bonds or the different equations you use, the steps you used in your head to solve it. How many points did the blue and white team score altogether? So the blue team was 106. And probably, once you have this picture up here, you could probably get away without drawing a picture for the second part, because you could just refer to that same picture you used. Uh, but I'm going to draw it anyway to show addition. And that's what I'm trying to solve for there. 69 plus 106, that 69 is almost 70. So you could think of this really as 70 plus 105 for 175. Uh, you could do that showing a uh, tape diagram addition. Um, uh, or you, you could just write this down vertically. Uh, but if, however you do it, if you're going to do it in your head like that, write it down the arrow way or show it with a tape diagram. Right, You already have the tape diagram here. So that to show that, it would just, we'd have a, oops. We'd have a, a little plus one in here, right? So that this would that would make this a 70, and it would make this 105. And that's how you would show it with tape diagram addition method. Vertically, 106. 
69, 15, it's a 10, 7 10s, 175. And either way, the blue and white teams scored 175 total points.